of an integration between ADP Workforce Now and various other downstream systems. So the downstream systems that we are interested in are going to be Okta, Greenhouse Onboarding, SAP Conquer, and NetSuite. So what you're looking at right now is a mock CSV file being exported from ADP Workforce Now. So because it's from ADP Workforce Now, you can see the columns are fields familiar to ADP, such as the associate's ID, first name, last name, and email address. So for the sake of simplicity, we are going to be looking at one record syncing over to one downstream system each. And first off, we have Ellen and Jessica. So these two are going into Conquer and NetSuite. And if I go into SAP Conquer now and search for Ellen, you can see that we have an existing uh, Ellen McDonald record in SAP Conquer. And there are certain fields that uh, can be populated with values from the CSV file, but they're currently empty. And also two fields that actually come from NetSuite. So if I look at the Ellen McDonald record in NetSuite, um, you can see that um, his employee ID is right over here. And that is actually what is going to be passed over into this field later on. At the same time, we want to inspect this NetSuite uh, record for Ellen McDonald. And you can see that Jessica Young is actually the supervisor for Ellen. And what that means is um, the ID for Jessica will get passed over into this field on the um, SAP Conquer record. And we can therefore look at the Jessica Young record and uh, her ID will be right over here. So just to inspect these records a little bit more, we can see that there's no department specified for Alan. He is currently located in San Francisco and he hasn't specified a preferred name yet. So similarly for Jessica, she doesn't have a department, she's located in San Francisco and she hasn't specified a preferred name. So that's for the first two records. Now let's like, take a look at the third record for Farouk Balsara, um, who is going over into Greenhouse. And so currently you can see that he doesn't have a preferred name set yet. Um, it's just his legal name. Finally, we have Robert Jackson. And Robert Jackson is a bit special because he actually has the status of new meaning that he would be created in all the downstream systems as a new record. But we are specific, specifically going to be looking at uh, Okta and just to prove that um, there is no Robert Jackson record, um, you can see that the search returned uh, no results. So with that, let me download this spreadsheet as a CSV file and actually push it into an SFTP server. So what is happening right now is this CSV file being uploaded to a SFTP server mimics the um, workflow that the actual use case would be undergoing whereby ADP will be exporting a particular CSV file containing the various updates and creations in ADP. And it would pass that CSV file into an SFTP server whereby Wakado would be monitoring that directory or a specifically uh, a specific directory uh, to see for that CSV file. So with that, let me come over to a SFTP UI and here we have the mappings and let's push it into a specific directory on an SFTP server. So you can see that 
the file is now mapped over. And from there, Vocado will actually pick up on that CSV file and process all the various roles on it, the various records on it. And if we give Vocado a little bit of time, To process the records uh, we can take a look at the Ellen McDonald page um, first and let me refresh it and you can see that the fields um, that were previously empty got populated with values from that CSV file so his location is currently Manchester he has an associate ID and uh, his NetSuite employee ID and supervisor ID also came over from NetSuite. So of course we have his preferred name as well. So similarly, we are going to take a look at the Ellen McDonald record in NetSuite and it's going to have certain changes as well. Um, so you can see that his department has currently been populated to be IT. His location has changed as well. And if we take a look at the custom tab, his preferred name has been set as well. So similarly for Jessica Young, if I refresh the page, you can see that her department has been changed to finance. Location is Manchester and her preferred name has been set to Jessica Young. One final place to look at is for um, Farouk Balsara in Greenhouse and you can see that his preferred name has been set, set to Farouk Balsara. Cool. Lastly, we are going to be looking for a new creation of Robert Jackson right over here. And if I click into it, you can see that his group has been set to sales, which is his department right over here. <clears throat> so he has been automatically added into a particular group based on his um, department. And if I take a look at his profile, you can see that all the standard fields got populated with particular values, including his display name, which would display his um, preferred name. And if I scroll all the way down, his department has been set to sales and also custom fields right over here. So these two are actually custom fields. Um, they have been set according to what the CSV file specifies. So at this stage, another piece of the workflow that I want to demonstrate is activating a Okta user just in time. So uh, imagine that currently it's um, 8 a.m. on a particular day. And, and for example, the start day for Robert is actually today or the 25th of June. And what that would do is that would allow for Ocado to pick up on that start date and actually activate this user because of the start date. And so you can see once I refresh the page that this um, Robert Jackson user has actually been activated. <clears throat> so cool. So Mercado has the capability of uh, just-in-time provisioning. Um, the applications or for a particular user. So the next part of the workflow or the demo is actually to make changes to these records um, just to simulate the passage of time. So if let's say that um, now that now we're gonna have Jessica be terminated unfortunately and, and it's also today right and so now Robert Jackson is no longer a new record. It's going to be an update. Um, so now everybody has to work 
remotely as well so everybody's location gets changed to remote and also we want to change the um, department for Robert Jackson as well so what this would show is his group in Okta changing to the new department so we're gonna set it to engineering and have the sub department just be hardware right and of course uh, more importantly we have um, the preferred names so we can basically just change the preferred name so for example um, Alan wants to be called Alan instead of just instead of Alan, Alan McDonald Jessica will just be known as Jess um, and Farouk Balsara wants to be known as Freddy Mercury and of course Robert Jackson just wants to be Bob so with that let's take uh, another go at it and let's download this CSV file again so of course we are still simulating the export um, from ADP so this is done automatically by ADP themselves and we are pushing that CSV file into an SFTP server whereby from there um, Vocado will actually pick up on it so if we give Vocado a second again to process to pick up on the new records and process, process them and so if I if I refresh the page again for Alan McDonald, you can actually see that his location has been changed and his preferred name has been changed as well. Um, and if I come over into Alan McDonald's record in that suite, it's pretty similar to um, the first part of the demo. You can see that his location has been changed and his preferred name has been changed as well so just to quickly verify for um, Jessica as well that yeah her location has been changed and her preferred name has been changed so similarly for um, Farouk Balsara if I refresh the page you can see that his preferred name actually changed to Freddie Mercury cool so one last piece um, in Okta if I refresh the page for Robert Jackson and take a look at his group, you can see that he is no longer in the sales group. He's actually in the engineering group now as, as per his department. And if I take a look at his profile, um, his di display name has been changed to Bob and his department has been changed to engineering as well as the hardware sub department as well. So that is a very cool, um, straightforward mapping of fields between the various systems. Um, what I want to show next is basically just in time deprovisioning, right? So if uh, we have Jessica who is supposed to be terminated today and currently she's still um, activated, right? So if I were to imagine that it is currently 5 p.m. and uh, she has already left the company, that uh, Wakado can pick up 